tardigrades. One of the world's most iconic micro-animals. They've infiltrated our pop culture from Star Trek. Like its microscopic cousins on Earth, the tardigrade is able to incorporate foreign DNA. To Family Guy. My name's Vernon. I'm a water bear. They're also known as a moss piglet or a tardigrade. And today, not only do we get to learn all about tardigrades, but we get to look at tardigrades under a microscope, thanks to the company that made this video possible, Carolina Biological Supply. This is a tardigrade. The name tardigradum means slow walker and was given by Lazzaro Spallanzani in 1777. They are often called water bears or moss piglets. There are about 1,300 known species of tardigrade. This specific species of tardigrade is named Hypsibius dujardini. Tardigrades are often found on lichens and mosses. However, tardigrades are most known for surviving extreme conditions such as the deep ocean and mud volcanoes. Many YouTube videos tell you about the immortality of tardigrades and how they are able to withstand any environment. However, it is important to clarify that tardigrades are not extremophiles. Extremophiles are organisms with optimal growth in environmental conditions considered extreme. The key word in the definition of extremophiles is optimal. Tardigrades can survive harsh conditions, but they do not thrive in them. In fact, their chances of dying increase the longer they are exposed to extreme environments. Still, tardigrades are extremely resilient. Tardigrades can survive temperatures as high as 151 degrees Celsius for a few minutes. That's well above boiling. They can also survive temperatures as low as negative 20 degrees Celsius for several years. In addition, they could survive temperatures as low as negative 200 degrees Celsius for a few days or negative 272 degrees Celsius for a few minutes. And it's important to note, temperature is not the only way to measure how tough something is. Others are pressure, dehydration, and even radiation. For pressure, tardigrades can withstand a low pressure near a vacuum or high pressure as much as 1,200 times normal atmosphere pressure. As for dehydration, tardigrades can survive several years without water. Tardigrades can withstand 1,000 times more radiation than other animals. In addition, tardigrades were exposed to outer space and survived. This happened both on Photon M3 carrying an astrobiology payload and on STS Mission 134, the final space shuttle mission of the Space Shuttle Endeavor. Despite the resilience of tardigrades, the tardigrades shipped to me by Carolina Biological Supply were packaged as though they were fragile. This just goes to show the quality of service that Carolina Biological provides. Founded in 1927 by a professor who sold extra samples to his colleagues, Carolina Biological's goal is to provide educators the finest products and services that help students of all ages learn and understand science. The other day, family friends came to visit our family, and their kids were amazed and excited to look at the tardigrades Carolina Biological sent to me. This situation showed me that although you can learn all about tardigrades through books or the internet, the true curiosity and wonder that science creates can only be fulfilled through first-hand experience. When exposed to extreme conditions, from hot springs to the Antarctic, tardigrades commonly go through a process known as cryptobiosis. Cryptobiosis is a metabolic state of life entered by an organism in response to adverse environmental conditions such as freezing and oxygen deficiency. While in this state, tardigrades lower their metabolism to less than 0.01% of normal and their water content can drop to 1% of normal. They can go without food or water for more than 30 years, only to later rehydrate, forage, and reproduce. A tardigrade in a state of cryptobiosis is known as a ton. Let's talk about the anatomy of a tardigrade. Tardigrades have barrel-shaped bodies with four pairs of legs. Most tardigrades range from 0.3 to 0.5 millimeters in length. The body of a tardigrade consists of a head, three body segments each with one pair of legs, and a caudal segment with a fourth pair of legs. The first three legs are used for propelling the tardigrade forward, while that last pair is used for grasping substrate. Tardigrades have no respiratory organs, with gas exchange able to occur across the entirety of the body. The tubular mouth is armed with stylets, which are used to pierce the plant cells algae or small invertebrates, on which the tardigrades feed. The mouth opens into a sucking pharynx. The pharynx connects to a short esophagus and then into an intestine that occupies much of the length of the body. 
This is the main site of digestion. The intestine opens via a short rectum to the anus located at the end of the body. The tardigrade brain is symmetrical and includes multiple lobes. Let's talk about reproduction. Although some species are parthenogenic, meaning they are asexual, both males and females are usually present. Tardigrades develop mostly in eggs and their fertilization is usually external. Mating occurs during molting, when tardigrades essentially shed their outer layer. Eggs are laid inside the shed cuticle of the female and then covered with sperm. The eggs hatch after no more than 14 days, with the young already possessing their full complement of adult cells. Growth to the adult size, therefore, occurs by enlargement of the individual cells, not by cell division. Taxonomy Tardigrades are in the kingdom Animalia and the phylum Tardigrata. The effect of tardigrades on humans. Unless you are Hank Pym from Ant-Man, tardigrades are harmless to humans. However, humans are not harmless to tardigrades. If you drink tardigrades by accident, they will most definitely die due to your stomach acid. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And as always, I am microbially yours. Thank you.